So we're looking at status codes for redirects. And uh, status code 301, so client requests get index PHP HTTP 1.1. And uh, the server response, H the, the version, the code, and then the text of the code. So 301 tells the browser that the resource at the URI has been changed permanently. And uh, subse subsequently, the browser will not make another request to the original link. So it's permanent. So if you, like, you know, somebody says, hey, give me index.php, and you say move permanently, and this is the new location, right? Anytime somebody is like, get this, it no longer, the browser no longer even, anytime the bra that specific browser that's received a 301 response for that page, that browser will no longer ask the server for it. The browser will just remember, now I send you here. Does that make sense? Yes? <coughs> Excuse me. Found tells the browser that the resource, the URI, has been changed temporarily. The browser will redirect to the new location this time only. Whereas, like, the browser will always subsequently redirect to the new location, won't even request go to the server. But found is this time only redirect. Uh, many web browsers implement this code in a manner that violated the standard, changing the request type of the new post to get, request to get, regardless of the type employed in the original request, e.g. post. For this reason, uh, status codes 303 and 307 were added to disambiguate. So, um, you know, 302 is still employed for backwards compatibility. So mostly don't use 302, use 301, move permanently, or 303, see other. And uh, it's same as 302, the only difference being that it tells the browser to make the second request and use the get verb. So even a post will be converted to a get. So uh, everything is get. And then temporary redirect 307 is uh, uses the same verb as the original. So, so those are just the different codes of what they mean. So um, here we have a redirect. And we did status C other, which is 303. So it's only going to be a git. So same as 302, except it always uses git. That way, uh, it just sends you to a new URL and, and uh, <laughs> gets the information at that URL. When would you want to use 307? If somebody's submitting form data and you need them to submit it to a new location, you could send them to that new location and that new location will also be post. So, so here we have, what are we looking at? Pictures. See how there we have some templates. We have index.goHTML. So foo, your request a method foo, bar, your request at bar, and then it redirects back. Oh, I see what it's doing. Re redirects back to home. And uh, your request method at bar, and we execute with that. What's in this here? And we're going to forward slash bar. This is interesting. Control C, and we're in 28, and 01. I guess I just look here. 
Quest method is get. Oh, print out here. Request method at foo is get. Request method at foo is get. All right, when I went there. And now if I go to bar, I'm going to go to bar, and it'll tell me my request method and redirect me back to home. And it's doing it with status see other. And status see other is three oh three, so it's gonna be git, right? No matter what. So I'll go to bar. Bar and it sends me back home. And you can see here bar is three oh three status C other. And here request method at bar is git and request method at foo is git because three oh three always means the request method request method is get it's a temporary redirect 301 is the permanent redirect and now if I go to bard it's going to print out the request method and then execute a template and something and so it uh, went to bar, the request methods get, and then I submitted a form and the request method at bar is post. All right, so I got here because this form said, hey, submit that to bar, that's the action. And then it went to bar and I redirected with stash C other to bar to foo to root and this always makes it git so it was git what if instead of status c other here's c other we did a temporary redirect 307 so this is probably the same thing except instead of status c other we're going to do the 307 which is stas temporary redirect 307 so now if we run this one, this is uh, 03. So now if we go to BARD, What are my routes here? Bard. I requested Bard is git. And it should have launched index.gohtml. I'm not seeing my form. Where's my form? B A R R E D B A R R E D. Am I doing O two? I'm in O three. There it is, another submit. So now, I was at barred, it's git, and I submitted to bar the form via post. And, uh, and then it came in here and did a temporary redirect, and it sent it over here, and the method stayed the same. So the interesting thing is if I'm posting here to this, I could do if and 
I don't want to mess up this code because this is part of a recorded course. I'm going to put it up here and it'll be 79. So now I could say here, if request method is equal to hp.methodPost, then I have something coming in and it's going to be some text. So I could be uh, you know, uh, s colon equals, well, I could just do var s string. And that gives me my empty string. And then I could print out s. And uh, and now I want to get that. So request dot form value. It's going to take in a key, and it gives back what. Take in a key, and it returns a string. So it takes in a string and returns a string. And the string we're going to pass in is the variable name, and we'll assign it to s. And the variable name is right here. So the name is f name. So we get f name. So we'll see if that came through. Let's go run that. Localhost. Uh, method at foo is get, form value at foo is nothing, and then I go to bard, and I could, I could see that request method at bard is get, and bond, I submit that, and I see that request method at bar, because it submits to bar's post, then that gets redirected to foo in the method as post, and the value at foo is bond. So I took a form payload that's supposed to be submitted to one URL, and I re redirected that and said, process that over here. And that's 307. The method got kept in the redirect as post. 303, the method always gets changed to get. So if I change this to a 303, if I change this to a 303, which 303 is C other. C other is always going to be a git. So if I run this now, and I do that same thing, When I came to BARD, it's GET, and then when I got to BAR, it was POST, and then I redirected to FOO with GET, and I dropped my payload. So 303 is always GET, 307 is always POST. They're both temporary redirects, 303 and 307, meaning my browser is not going to remember that that is a redirect. 301 is moved permanently, 
And move permanently means my browser is going to remember that um, previously you asked me to go to that and the server told me that's a permanent redirect. So I'm not even going to check in with the server. I'm just going to send you that new location. Right? My browser will just redirect me. won't check with the server anymore. So that's a move permanently, 301. And then 303 and 307 are the temporaries. Right? See other temporary redirect. And 303 is always get. And 307 is always post. That's kind of interesting, right? So those are uh, those are uh, redirects, and that little diagram I built is right there. So we have 303, 307, and move permanently. So that move permanently is going to show us, like if I go to bar. And my browser is going to remember that, and if I ever ask to go to bar, it's not even going to hit the server. Let's see that run, see if that gets demonstrated. CD. So if we go to forward slash, we're at foo. My request method foo is git. And if I go to bar, it redirects me. I go to bar, it redirects me. So bar is git, it redirects me to foo. Foo is still git. And then if I go to bar again, I'm just at foo. Like my browser doesn't even let me hit the server. Right? My browser's like, oh, I remember the server said this is permanent. We're not even going to go to the server to bar. I'm just going to send you straight to foo. That's kind of cool, right? It's cool to demonstrate it. All right, so that's the difference between 301, 303, and 307. And, uh, and then we have four right headers. All right, I think that's pretty good for tonight. I know I'm tired.